Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, is I'm gonna do a DIY sunglasses holder and a wash holder. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell button so you won't miss any of my videos. So yes, yeah, so without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So you will need is some skewer or a barbecue stick, a pencil, ruler, pliers, some cutter, a glue gun and a glue stick, a wire, styrofoam, and some cardboard box. So first thing you'll do is you're gonna measure the skewer or the barbecue stick on how tall you want the watch holder to be. And here I'm just gonna straighten the styrofoam and then after that is you're gonna you're just gonna cover it with a cardboard box or a box that you have at home and here I'm just gonna cut it After you cut the cardboard box is that you will paste it on the styrofoam and the measurement of the styrofoam and the cardboard box it depends on you on how big the watch holder will be and on how tall it will be. So I've just based their measurements on where I will place it. After you cover the entire styrofoam with the cardboard box, is I'm just gonna cover it with a wallpaper that I bought. Or you can also paint it with whatever color you want. So here I'm just gonna cut a piece of marble wallpaper and then I'm gonna cover it to the cardboard box. Using a wallpaper would be tricky, so just be careful when sticking it because it would create some air bubbles which is not really nice to look at. So instead of that one is just be careful. And after that make sure to cut the excess wallpaper and stick it on the bottom part of the watch holder. this is how it looks like after that you're just gonna place the skewers and then just make sure that they are straight enough and this is like my first attempt and yes it looks like a yung paglagyan ng labahan ganon so yes i'm just gonna get that one and instead of that measurement i will cut it into smaller one because that first one is like wider so yes i'm just gonna cut it after i cut the styrofoam and the box is i'm just gonna cover it so that the styrofoam cannot be seen and also i'm gonna cover it with the wallpaper So here I'm just gonna put a mark on where the other barbecue stick will be placed. Then after that is I'm just gonna measure the top part of the holder or the watch holder and then I'm gonna place a skewer on it. And then I'm just gonna glue gun it so that it will be secure. So this one is kind of optional but here I'm just gonna place a wire on that part so that it will be stronger and that it will not break easily but yeah it depends on you if you want to put it and you can also use the string of, of your unused notebooks. I'm just gonna do it also on the other one. So here I'm just gonna measure on where the hooks will be and I'm just gonna put 6 hooks on the bigger one and 4 on the smaller one. But it depends on you on how many hooks you will place 
and just use a thinner wire so that it will be easy for you to bend and to secure on the skewer and you will also gonna do that on the smaller one and here I'm just gonna cut a piece of barbecue stick and I'm gonna place it on the smaller one and here before I place I just clean up the sides of the barbecue stick and then I'm gonna glue that one to the watch holder then after that is you're just gonna paint it and here I'm just gonna use a spray paint bronze color but originally I planned it to be rose gold but since I don't have it at the moment so I just used what's available. Then you'll put back the skewers and this is how it looks like. So for the next DIY is you will need some wood or a frame and, and here I just used an old canvas which we probably don't use anymore and a cutter, a ruler, a pen or a marker or a pencil, a hammer and some nail and also you will need yarn. So I'm just gonna use this because we probably not use it anymore. So here I'm just gonna measure on how big the sunglasses holder will be and this one is also, it also depends on you on how big you want. So on this part, you can ask for help to someone to help you cut some wood. Then after that is I'm just gonna peel off the canvas from the frame. So here I already cut the wood based on the markings that, that I draw earlier and here instead of cutting it straightly I, I just cut it diagonally so that it can connect with the other side of the frame but if you already have a frame or a picture frame that you don't use anymore you can use it for this project and here I'm just gonna connect those pieces by putting on some nails So here I'm just gonna place a sunglasses so that I would have a guide on where I will put some markings on, on where I will place the yarn. So here I'm just gonna unscrew the frame hooks if that's what you call them and then I'm gonna place it on the middle part of the frame so that it will not be wiggly when you place it on the wall. So in order for the screw to attach there is I just make a hole by hammering a nail there and then I just get it out and then I just put on the screw. So here I just decided to cover the frame by putting on some marble wallpaper and this one is also optional. You can leave the frame as it is or you can paint it also with whatever paint you want or you can cover it also with a wallpaper if you have it at home or spray paint it and this is how it looks like with the wallpaper or the sticker so the next thing you would do is that you're just gonna measure on how long the yarn would be so here I just cut three pieces of yarn with the same measurement and then I'm just gonna attach it on the nails so here it, dep it also depends on, on how many and on how long your yarn would be then just cut off the excess yarns on the sides and this is how it looks like Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.